seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hey everybody, it's George here. Welcome to another episode of the Unnamed Kids Show. Today, we're gonna to be talking about RADA. Now, can you say that word out loud right now? RADA? Awesome. Now to get started, I want you to think about someone special or maybe a special place in your life. Maybe it's a friend or a family member or your pet guinea pig. Maybe it's a special place like a lake or a cabin or the Lego aisle at Target. Right? How do you interact with those people or those places? How do you treat your pet hamster or your favorite toy? My guess is you treat them with love and kindness, right? It's different than the way that maybe you think about the random person down the street. Or maybe it's different than the way you think about all of your other toys. Before we get deeper into what Rada means, we're gonna listen to a Bible passage from Genesis. Let's take a listen. Genesis chapter one, verses 26 through 28. Then God said, let us make humankind in our own image, according to our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over the cattle and over all the wild animals of the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and, ev and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Did you hear a long word that started with the letter D come up twice in that passage? The word dominion. Now that word, it's a big word, connects to Rada, right? And another way that I like to think about those two big kind of confusing words is the word responsibility. Maybe one of your responsibilities is clearing off all the dishes at the end of dinner. Or maybe one of your responsibilities is to clean up all of the toys that are left in your room at the end of the day. You, I, all of us have a responsibility to care for the things that we love. And not just the things that we love, but everything in God's creation. For one another, for all of the creatures living outside, and for everything else in God's garden. So that's what Rada is all about the responsibility that we have as human beings to live together uh, and to care for one another. So today we're gonna dive in with our cast of puppets and human friends to learn a little bit more about what Rada means in this episode of the Unnamed Kids Show. Let's go. Hi, Kathy. Hey, man. It's great to see you. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. It was so fun to be with my family and friends at Christmas. But to be honest, winter is starting to get to me. The colder weather and earlier sunsets have got me feeling kind of down and I'm not sure what to do. Ah yes, the winter blues. That's really common and the sun does so much to help our mood and our well-being. Hey, I've got an idea for you. Maybe it will help. When I feel down, Sometimes I put on my creativity hat. Actually, I was planning on making some fragrant fire starters so that we could give them out to the families here at church. They're on the table over there. What would happen if you led the project and you helped Jane and Georgie and Andrew and be creative together? Oh, wow, that's a great idea. Okay, Kathy, I'll try and lead. Thanks. Have fun being creative. Wow, look at all these cool supplies. I see cinnamon sticks and rosemary and cupcake things without cupcakes in them. Hey, where'd the cupcakes go? Yeah, it smells really great. I wonder what we're making. Hey everyone, Kathy wants us to help her make homemade fire starters for families here at church. And she asked me to lead the project. I think we should make an assembly line and everyone takes one thing and then we'll put it together one piece at a time. Oh, 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 what if we make them all different sizes? Mm, no, I, I think they should all be the same size. Oh, well, 
I, I just thought it'd be cool if we have like a really big one and then a really small one. You know, different size fires. Yeah, and actually there's different kind of smells. There's an orange and a mint. We could mix and match the scents as well. Yeah, and I think we have some cranberries in our office that we could add too. Nice. Um, actually, the, the plan is to use exactly what we have here and to use the same fruit blend for each one. Well, couldn't we try some of these other ideas too, Mint? Well, no, Kathy asked me to be in charge, so I'm gonna lead this project. Well, maybe we could all talk about how we can do this together, Min. Oh, that's not how this works. I'm leading the project. Oh, sorry, I need to take a break. Hey, man, how are those fire starters coming along? Not good at all. I'm sorry, Kathy, but I don't think I'm doing a very good job leading this team. Oh, I don't know if that's true. Why do you say that, man? Well, I had this plan on how we could make the crafts as quickly as possible and have them all look the same. But then Georgie wanted to make different size fire starters, and then Jane was talking about cranberries and, and, ugh. And you felt like you weren't the leader anymore, huh? Exactly. I just wanted everyone to listen to me and do my plan. Hey, man, do you remember in Genesis when God created everything, what God asked the humans to do after they were created? Hmm, I think so. Something about dominating the planet and all the fish, birds, and animals? Nice job, man, nice job. In some translations, it does say that God gives humans dominion over the earth and all the other creatures. Dominating is really close to dominion, sort of. <laughs> the Hebrew word for dominion over is rada. And I think that kind of down through the ages, there's been some confusion about what that means. Man, do you have any pets? Yes, I have a border collie named Torkelson. Oh, I bet Torkelson's cute. And you love little Torkelson, don't you? Absolutely. He's so cuddly and he loves to jump really high and play catch and he likes it when I scratch him on his belly. And while it's safe to say that you and your family have dominion over Torkelson, you don't just boss him around and control him, do you? No, of course not. We love him and want what's best for him. And honestly, sometimes Torky tells us what he needs, like when he needs to go to the bathroom or when he wants to go for a walk. Exactly. And I think that's what God asked humans to do when God said, have dominion over creation. It's helpful to think of it like that. Humans are leading with creation and are for creation, wanting what's best for it and not just dominating over it. Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense, Kathy. And I think that when you think about leading other people, there's a way to do it in a similar way. You don't necessarily have to boss them around and dominate over them, but you... Can work with them and care about their ideas too. Exactly. Wow, thanks, Kathy. That was super helpful. Yeah. Hi, families. We have been sitting for a little bit, so why don't we stand up and do a little bit of movement. So make sure that you have a nice space. You're not gonna hit your mom, your dad, your siblings. We don't wanna hit anyone when we do this. So what we're gonna do first is, I don't know if anyone's really good at balancing, so we're gonna try some balances today. So one thing we're gonna do is you're gonna stick one leg out, maybe the leg that you're not very good at balancing on, and then put your arms over your head and see how long you can hold it. It's a little tricky. Then after doing that one, we can also try to do where we try to touch our toe and try to balance like that. Oh, it's a little tricky to balance. I'm not very good at it. But maybe you can try the other foot too. Maybe you're better on one leg than the other leg. And then this one's also super tricky. You might have to be super, super flexible or just try your best. But you can try to grab your foot like this and also try to balance if you can. It's really hard. So I hope you can try both sides 
or a trap. Maybe you can think of another pose to do, like a tree pose. That one is, you can probably do pretty easily, I hope. Or um, even just like sticking a foot in front of you. Whatever is easiest, but this gets us moving and maybe a little bit more awake. So those are a couple of our movement poses. So now you can sit back down and enjoy the rest of the show. Oh, careful there, Andrew. That fighter starter you're working on is looking a bit too big, and Min wanted them all the same size. I, I really don't want her to be frustrated. Oh, uh, that's, that's a good call, Georgie. Yeah, I'll fix that. Uh, hey, Jane, can you pass me the rosemary leaves? Oh, wait. I think I already have that. Uh, what else do I need? Uh, hey, everybody. Hey, man. Oh, hi, man. How are you feeling? We are working really hard together to make these the way you wanted them. Oh, I'm feeling a lot better, Jane. Hey, would you be able to grab the cranberries you had? Wait, are you sure? Yeah, I think it's a great idea to mix the scents. And Georgie, I, I think you should make some really cute smaller fire starters and some bigger ones too. Oh, I, I don't have too many. <laughs> it was just a silly idea. <laughs> no, Georgie, it wasn't silly. It was a really great idea. And I'm sorry I didn't do a good job listening earlier. I wanted to lead this project, but didn't realize that a great leader works with their team and doesn't just tell them what to do. Well, man, we think you're a great leader. And thanks for sharing that. We, we all forgive you. Well, what do you say? Should we make some fire starters? Oh yeah, all right, let's do it. We're making big ones and little ones. Hi there, Carol. Oh, Georgie, hey! It's good to see you. Wow, you've got some cool stuff on the table here. Say, hey. I have a question for you. Yes. We're learning about RADA. And, and what that kind of means, what I understand, is that we have a responsibility to take care of our friends and our family and all the people, but also all of creation. Now, ah. it's cold outside. <laughs> it's winter time. There's snow on the ground. The, 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 the fruit isn't blooming. The garden isn't growing. So I'm wondering, how do we take care of creation right now? Well, that's a great question, Georgie. You always have such good questions for me. Oh, thanks. And I've been outside today, actually on this beautiful day, and all those beautiful things you were talking about, they're all dried up. Look at them. Look Whoa. at that. Do you think anybody would be interested in these? Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, there's an awful lot of birds that want to eat all these fluffy seed heads. Ooh. Look at that. And they take them back to their nests and uh, they use these leaves to hide in for the winter so they can keep warm. Wow. Isn't that cool? Well, that's super cool. Yeah, so we need to leave our grasses and our seed heads and our flowers in the winter so the birds can have something to eat. Oh, so instead of cutting them down or mowing them? Definitely. Wow. And look, at I brought some examples of some really cool seed heads. Whoa. You know what this is? Uh, puffy stuff that goes inside of a jacket. Hey, that's a good idea. You know, they actually did use this puffy stuff way back about uh, 60 years ago. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. I was going to show you how to carefully get these seeds out of here. If you open up this pod really carefully and grab it up at the top, I'm not doing a very good job and the wind isn't helping me, but look at it. It's like a beautiful flower. Yeah. And then if you hold them, you can kind of... Whoa. Actually, if oh. you want to collect just the seed head, you can shake them. But you know, this is the way God would have us do it. Just throw them up Whoa. in the air. <laughs> cool. Look at that. They're going to go all over the property. And and, and, and and will people eat them or will they grow into things? Do you know what? Happen? This is a milkweed. It's a favorite for the monarch butterfly. Whoa. So we'll get lots of milkweed seeds or milkweed plants next summer. Oh, and we can amazing, watch Carol. for the monarchs. Yeah. And then we have um, one other thing we want to leave for the insects. Okay. Look at this. This is called Joe Pie Weed. We've got that Whoa. here at church. That's like three times the size of me. Yeah, that's pretty big. But look at what's in the stem. Anything? 
No, it's clear. You think somebody would like to live in there? I Maybe. I would like to if I was small enough. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. The bees like to live inside these hollow stems. Oh. So when we're cleaning up our gardens in the fall, we want to leave a bunch of these stems. Look at It could be a straw. Wow. But we want to leave these stems on the ground, or you can leave them in the ground and just break them off like this, and then the bees will go in there and make their home for the winter. Wow. Carol, these are some great Isn't ideas cool? of ways that we can show our love and, and, and care for creation, even in the wintertime. Yeah. I'm so glad you came and shared with us. Thanks so much. All right. Bye. Good to see you. You too. Thanks to all of our friends who helped us gain a little bit better understanding about what RADA means. Having a responsibility to care for one another, for all the members of our community. Having a responsibility to care for all of creation that is around us. Those things that are a part of God's great garden. So moving forward, I hope that you know that you are so loved and that you are so special. So to finish off, I'm gonna ask that we pray together. And I call this prayer the hug prayer, all right? So you can follow along uh, with my words and with my actions so that we can do it together. Start with your hand out like this and say, God, I will do my best to love those in my community. God, I will do my best to love all of creation around me. All of this through your love for me. Amen.